If you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas, I'm sure Summerlin has come on your radar. It is quite a large part of Las Vegas and still growing. I'm Catherine with the Thomas Group and Real Broker, your local Las Vegas and Henderson Realtors. Howard Hughes bought the land that is now Summerlin for $3 an acre back in 1952. But after deciding to not relocate his business here, the land sat empty for over three decades. And the name came from his grandmother, Jean Amelia Summerlin. Comprised of villages, there are currently 25 villages with an estimated 30 once building is complete. And there are over 200 miles of trails connecting all of these villages. Buying in Summerlin truly is an investment as values just keep going up exponentially. And not only are you surrounded by luxury, but stunning views of the Red Rock Conservation Mountains. So now that you have some information and an overview about Summerlin, let's deep dive Summerlin North. Summerlin North is where it all started and more specifically the Hills Village. Ground broke in 1990 and the first family moved into the Hills Village in 1991. Building went into the early 2000s and are mostly resale now except for one condo community. Summerlin Library is located in Summerlin North and they have some really amazing things, not only for kids, but also adults. They have story time, classes, there's exhibitions, and their own performing arts center. Still to come this year, there's Little Shop of Horrors, a Christmas Carol, and even a Nutcracker show. So make sure you check it out. Summerlin Library is also home to the Nevada Ballet Theater. Their ballets this year include Peter Pan, Cinderella, All That Jazz, and they host the Nutcracker every year. Their shows will be at the Smith Center though. Summerlin North has a total of eight parks. The one that I'm currently in is the Trails Park Community Center and Pool. The Community Center will have events and host classes, and the pool here is seasonal. You do have to be a Summerlin resident to join, but each resident can bring one guest. The parks in Summerlin North feature things like a baseball field, amphitheater and stage, sand volleyball court, there are two lighted tennis courts in the Hills Park, and the Arbor Park is home of the Summerlin Youth and Adult Tennis Program. They also have Arborville, which is a tricycle area for toddlers. Another pool option in Summerlin is the Pavilion Center Pool. It is an indoor pool, so it is open year round, and they have swimming lessons, exercise classes, and a 14 lane competitive pool. Summerlin North has two golf courses, Tournament Players Club Las Vegas, which is a public course, which you can see behind me right now, stunning views of the mountains, and you even have some homes that are right on this course as well. There's also TPC Summerlin, which is a private course. They have golf, dining, and social amenities for the whole family. They also do host the Shriners Children's Open. And while it's challenging enough for the best players in the world during the Shriners Children's Open, there are five sets of tees on each hole, making the course enjoyable for golfers of all skill levels. The Trails Village Center is right in the heart of Summerlin North, where you have Albertsons, super convenient for your shopping options here. Tons of casual dining restaurants, there's even a Bath and Body Works and other really great stores to check out and super convenient for the villages in Summerlin North. Just east of Summerlin North are additional restaurants, shopping, and options for things to do. Like in Boca Park, you have Husong's Mexican Cantina and a Total Wine. Rampart Commons has Honey Salt, Flower Child, and North Italia. And the beautiful Tivoli Village has Echo and Rig, Ada's Wine Bar, and so many things to do. They have music nights, craft fairs, Raiders and Las Vegas Golden Knights player meet and greets and fit for mom stroller stride classes. So let's talk about the home prices in Summerlin North. We're gonna start with condos that start in the high 200,000s and go into the million dollar range in Mira Villa, where they are actually still selling and we'll get to that in just a minute. Townhomes are starting in the low to mid 300,000s and going all the way up to the mid 500,000s. Now for single family homes, they go as low as your mid 400,000 range and go all the way into the multi-million dollar range, some that have been beautifully renovated and are even custom homes. Some homes in Summerlin North are not gonna have an HOA fee and you're only gonna have the $65 a month master plan fee. Mira Villa by Toll Brothers is a luxury condo complex in Summerlin North and there are only a few new build options left. 
Each one has a private elevator to your residency, and the views of the mountains and Angel Park Golf Course are absolutely stunning. Now they are starting just under 1 million. There are a few resales, and like I said, just a couple new builds left. The school ratings in Summerlin are definitely a reason why people choose to move here. In Summerlin North, you have three elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. There are also charter schools and private schools. All of these schools do have a B plus and seven out of 10 or higher rating. Sun City Summerlin, while it is not part of the Summerlin Master Plan community, is within the borders of Summerlin North. Sun City Summerlin by Dell Webb is a 55 plus active adult lifestyle and golf cart community. Sun City Summerlin has four community centers with fitness centers. There's an Olympic sized pool, classes, clubs, a social calendar, tennis, 12 lighted courts, 10 pickleball courts, woodworking clubs, card rooms, bocce ball courts, libraries, and so much more. Sun City Summerlin even has its own theater, the Starbright Theater, hosting tribute bands, cabaret, and musical theater. With this being a golf cart community, there are three golf courses. You have Eagle Crest, Highland Falls, and Palm Valley. They're all par 72 with clinics available, and Highland Falls and Palm Valley have restaurants on site. Homes in Sun City Summerlin were built between 1988 and the early 2000s. Now some of them do still need to be renovated, but some have been stunningly remodeled. Your townhomes are gonna start in the high 200,000 range and go to the mid 500,000 range. And single families are gonna start in the mid to high 300,000 range and go into the million dollar range for some that have been beautifully renovated and are right on the golf course. So let's talk about the master plan fee here. The master plan fee is going to be $173 a month and then individual communities will also have their own HOA depending on if it's single family or townhomes. Now your master plan fee will include all of the amenities except for golf. There are golf packages that will vary in price depending on your playtime and the package you choose. Thank you so much for touring Summerlin North with me. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm extension six. My name is Catherine at our number below, or you can reach us at the Thomas group LV.com. Leave a comment what you think about Summerlin North and which village you might like to live in. And I will see you in the next Summerlin tour.